save money on plant markers, use an old mini blind. I find mini blinds at garage sales for a dollar all the time. People have one that breaks and they want to get new ones. I found this one for a dollar at garage sale. It has 35 slats. If you cut the slats two to three inches long, you can get about 175 plant markers out of one mini blind. Just cut the slat off, then cut it to the lengths that you'd like. Write what you want on there with a permanent marker. Stick it in your plant. To save money for planting your seeds in pots, use toilet paper cores to plant them in. Simply cut in half, cut four slits, fold them under, Then they make a nice little bottom. Put in your soil. And then put in your seeds. Then in a few weeks, you will have little plants. You can take the entire container, just set it straight in the garden, bury it with more garden soil, and then your plants will grow. And that's how you use toilet paper cores to save money in the garden. To save money on plants in your garden, you can root cuttings during the winter and then put them outside in your garden. This coleus was in a city planter and it's a coleus I'd never seen before and I was really excited. It was the day it was supposed to freeze. So we, as we were driving by, I had Mike stop and I jumped out of the car real fast and grabbed a clipping and I rooted it and now it's been growing all winter. So now that it's getting close to spring, we have about six weeks left, I'm gonna take some more cuttings and I'm gonna root them. What you do is just cut right above where the leaves are, strip the bottom leaves, and then put them in your jar. After a few weeks, your root, your leaves will have roots. You can just plant them in your soil and you have more flowers for your garden. This also works really well with vines like sweet potato vines. I saved this one from last year and rooted it and have just kept it going all winter. So save money in your garden by rooting your plants. So I wanted to show you my free mini greenhouse that I got. My neighbor was getting rid of this drawer set and she asked me if I wanted it. My neighbors know now to ask me when they're getting rid of something if I want it because usually I do and I can use it somewhere. It started getting time for me to start my seeds and I was out of window space. I just had nowhere to put my seeds and I don't have a greenhouse yet, but I got to look and I thought, well, this would be a great mini greenhouse. So what I did was I filled it up with my seed containers and then I put my seeds in here and I did this just a few days ago so they haven't sprouted yet. And then during the day, um, I just leave it open. If it's really, really hot, I'll leave it open just a tad, probably, I don't know, just a little bit like that, just to let the heat escape. And then at night, I close it all the way and it keeps it warm so my plants will sprout. So I got a free mini greenhouse from my neighbor. They're gonna be a little mini greenhouse. So what I do is I put it in here, water, and then with my seeds and then put it in here. Then I put this in a safe spot. Little seeds right there. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take and, and drop some in here and then I'll just thin them later. like so. This is the very scientific tar way of doing it. Okay, not really, but there we go. And go. Now, for containers like this, what I do is I watch the water go down. So, let me show you I can do this. So can you see? Now watch. 
as I water, you're gonna see along the edge how it changes color from a light soil color to a dark soil color. Can you see how it's changing as it's soaking in? There's some poking up. Can you see the color changing there? Okay, so I'm letting it soak in. Then, if it's not all changed color, which it doesn't look like, I'm going to add a little bit more water. Okay. You want every bit of dirt to be nice and wet. Okay, that's probably good. Can you see the difference in the color there? Now I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and soak it up. And if it's still not all the way soaked, then I'm going to um, add. Then I'm going to add more. Now, what I'm gonna do is set this in the sun, which I'm running out of space here. But set this in the sun and let it germinate. Look at this. Remember when I got these guys? Look at my six packs fit perfectly in there. And I can take, set them in the window like that. An easy way to mulch in the garden is to take newspaper, lay it down, and then put cardboard on top of it. This works great, especially for paths, or if you have a new place where you have soil that is really bad, but you wanna build up your soil. We just put up this fence and I haven't been able to do anything with the garden back behind where the fence was gonna go. So now we're gonna lay down some newspaper and cardboard and start building up our soil. If it's a really windy day and the wind is blowing a lot, you can take your newspaper and just dip it in some water and that gives it enough weight to keep it from blowing. Then when you're ready take your wood chips, put them on top and spread them around. That's a quick and easy way to kill weeds and build up your garden soil. Save time and energy I do most of my composting in place. I bring my table scraps out to the garden, dig a little hole, bury them, then just cover it up. I can just compost right there in place and I don't have to worry about turning my pile or anything like that. If you have a problem with rats or mice, and you may not want to just leave your kitchen scraps laying on top of the ground, you can bury them just on top of the soil underneath your wood chips. So that's the easy way I compost in place. Today I wanted to share with you my great deal that I just got. Um, I went to Walmart and they had these plants on 50% clearance. And I've always wanted some of these. It was my birthday of the day I went, so I got a few. Well then as I was checking out, they said, oh, these are gonna be on sale for 50% off tomorrow on the clearance price. So it's like, ah! So instead of getting a few, I bought all of them because I got each one of these for a dollar, which these quart plants is a really good deal. And these plants normally run about $20 and I got each of them for a dollar 10. And then they also had these keystones over here that I wanted to line up my garden and they were on clearance for 25 cents normally they're two dollars so i got the whole pallet that they had left that was 158 bricks and so that was my great deal so i'm going to be back in my backyard planting to protect your plants from frost use any leftover container to cover your plants you can use yogurt containers, sour cream containers. If you have bigger plants, just cut the top of a milk jug and turn it upside down and place it on your plants. If it's windy, put a couple of rocks on top so it stays in place. Then in the morning, remove all the covers so your plants don't get too hot. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment below.